Let's look at how to prepare a bank reconciliation. The idea is that you've got two sources of information, the bank and our books, uh, and both tend to be missing information. To reconcile both of them, um, we're not going to try and adjust one balance to the other, but in fact, since both of them are missing information, we're going to adjust or reconcile both of them to the true or corrected balance. And the format is to establish two columns, the bank column and the books column. And the source of information for the bank is their bank statement. So you get the monthly statement and you look at what it says is the ending balance for the month. And at the same time you look at your accounting records, your general ledger balance for cash, and you notice what the bank uh, the book balance is and you record that as well. So focusing first on the bank side, you start with the statement balance and you're going to add to it and subtract to it some reconciling items. The most common items are first deposits in transit. Sometimes you've gone to the bank and you've made a deposit but you've done it in the afternoon, let's say after 2 p.m. and the bank isn't going to record that until the next business day. Well, you may have recorded it on December 31st, but the bank says it's after 2 p.m., so they're not going to record it until after the holiday, so January 2nd is when the money actually shows up into your statement. So deposits in transit, the bank statement balance is too low. You need to add those deposits. Likewise, sometimes you've written out checks, and you know that that money is going to be taken out of your account, but the bank hasn't actually sucked the money out of your account yet. So you need to subtract from the bank balance the amount of any outstanding checks. And then if there are errors in your favor or against your favor, either way, errors that need to be uh, taken care of, you would add or subtract those amounts, and you would come up with an adjusted bank balance. Then on the book side, you take a look at the book balance, and you're going to subtract from it uncollected items. So you've got customers, they've sent you uh, payments in the form of checks, and you've added those checks, and you've added them to your accounting records as collections, let's say, on account. And when you actually went to deposit them at the bank, unfortunately, a few of your customers passed you bad checks, and they bounced. So you thought you got cash, but you didn't. So uncollected items or bounced checks from customers need to be subtracted from the book balance because you think you have cash that you actually didn't get. Other times, uh, we hire the bank or the bank does a service for us by collecting on a note and so we don't get the money uh, in the mail to our office it gets wired directly into our bank account and until we get the bank statement we don't know about these uncollected items so the bank collections have to be added to the book records and then we can sometimes make errors like transposition errors we record a check for $52 as a $25 check a transposition error is when the digits get uh, switched in place. So we might have some errors that we also need to add or subtract from our records. In the end, we should end up with an adjusted book balance that is equal to the adjusted bank balance. And that's how you do a bank reconciliation.